copie ça et, et, et garde-le ici sur l'ordinateur. are for every single woman who is breathing, <laughs> splurging on your feminine energy is something that most women, most regular women, tend to neglect. Good morning. I'm back. Did you miss me? So we're starting fresh on a new format. I just came back from a ski trip. I was there for a few days, enjoyed myself, and now I'm back. So today's schedule is pretty heavy. I just finished doing my morning, morning ritual. I applied my own potion because of course I'm a potion lover. I live this potion life. I'm my number one customer. <laughs> Today is pretty packed because I started creating content and this is really new to me. It's kind of different to adjust. I've been doing this now for the past couple of weeks. That is why you have not really seen me posting anything because I was really figuring things out. So I just finished with my morning routine. So I moaned for about 30-40 minutes and then of course course i applied my potion so this is my own every month i do a custom potion for myself that matches my energy but also what's going on in terms of my aspirations and other influences so i did a little bit of makeup because i'm starting the day so i'm going to prepare an order of a potion that needs to be shipped i have one potion to pack which is leaving in a couple of days for her new home so i'm really really happy about that it is a custom potion and then I'm heading to my makeup artist uh, because I have a photo shoot in the afternoon this is really something that I didn't used to do in the past I was quite neglectful because you know I just didn't put time to shoot content so this is really something new for me to basically film through the process of making the potion, dressing the potion, designing the potion, packing the potion. It is a real, real thing in terms of my scheduling to have to now add content creation, but it's really actually very, very fun. Creatively, this is where I want to go because I felt kind of bored with the status quo of last year so i hope you appreciate the beautiful images that i'm shooting and then i'm going to go do my makeup because i have a photo shoot in the afternoon so i have to get my makeup done professionally i go to this beautiful girl it's here in Côte d'Azur uh, in Nice and she's also the one who does my henna on my eyebrows once a month approximately I mean my eyebrows are already kind of full but you know it just is just something that we're used to doing and she does makeup mostly bridal uh, but yeah so I'm doing that and then I'm heading to a photo shoot mind you today is really really cold so I don't know how this is gonna go it's supposed to be windy it's supposed to be not really sunny but it's kind of the only time uh, I had available otherwise I would have been behind the schedule i'm probably going to freeze so we'll see how it goes i'm really new at this so bear with me i hope you're enjoying the content so far my potions are greatly inspired by water goddesses remember i come from the mermaid tribe in my country so i can't really do anything that is not reminiscent of what my tradition is the way you want to look good or the way you want to smell good, you also want your aura, your energy to ooze and radiate femininity. As a woman, it is our divine entitlement to live what I call in my book, 
the pleasure principle. This is the way we are creative and the way we become mesmerizing and magnetic. It is not anything that needs to be taught. It is not a coaching process. It is not a psychological process. It is an energy process. It is a transformation of the aura. Women go to the spa. Women invest in luxuries women buy clothes but women especially modern day women are not taught that all of the things that you do cosmetically is absolutely irrelevant if it doesn't start with feeding your feminine essence of lifestyle because many of my clients have been asking me how do I incorporate the rituals that I talk about into their daily life so I wanted to show you that you can actually be a modern woman living in this you know, modern westernized society and still be spiritual no, no, Elle, elle veut quoi le lien? Ouais, pour pour qu'elle puisse payer. C'est là. Tiens, copie ça et, 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 et garde-le ici sur l'ordinateur the same way you need food to feed your belly or books to feed your intellect you need to practice sacred feminine rituals in order to become a sacred woman just because sacred women win at life it's about being blissful it's about being highly intuitive it is about being fully happy and actually engineering yourself to only receive what you're divinely entitled to receive been kind of secretive about my personal life which is really something that I cherish because it is my choice to come here on this public venue most of the time especially if you're a female entrepreneur a, you know solo business person working from home is the easiest thing my setup is a little bit different a regular studio would have had a place where I can record my videos and also some desks because I have assistants and we do a lot of admin work however the majority of my work is to do rituals. So if you notice behind me there is a bed. The ritual that I teach Moaning to Manifest is not the type of meditation that you're going to do in the regular sort of seated posture. Feminine spirituality or what I call goddess spirituality has to be done by igniting sacred sensuality. So we work mainly on our sacral chakra, so the magic of our womb. So most of my rituals are going to be done laying down. Every morning I would wake up very early. It is a necessity for me. It doesn't matter how busy or not busy I am. And actually many of my clients tell me that they now have this sort of urge to wake up and you know the the enthusiasm of getting into their morning routine. Inhale. Exhale. Oh. And you should naturally feel your body going back to that sacred central dance that we did earlier body just the same way you do when you make love when you give yourself as offering to a man just 
being so free. Women do not manifest like men. The most sacred place for us is our womb. I cannot stress enough the importance to have sacred feminine rituals that are specifically geared towards activating your womb. The goal is really to become a self healer where we actually archive a lot of our trauma is in our sacred sexual space. We never skip our morning ritual. You know I'm so lazy, right? I will not do anything that makes me experience any type of pain or suffering in my physical body. Something about physical pain for me is just impossible to fathom. But I do have to work out for the only reason that energy has to be moved. It is important to practice some sort of activity that is going to provide sweating. I do the other stuff as well that provides sweating. <laughs> don't worry. Anyway, so I do work out. I don't work out intensely, but I was so lucky because I found the most amazing gym, which is kind of human size. I know the owner. She's always there. She knows our name. She knows our date of birth. There's an amazing pool. There's a jacuzzi. There's a hammam and the sauna. So that's basically the excuse for me to go there. I need to sweat. So I'm going to work out a little bit. Sometimes I the coaches in terms of changing the cellular aspect of your body I've gone through phases where I was pregnant and I gained you know like 35 37 pounds and I had my babies back to back my girls are about 10 11 months apart so I'd never lost the baby weight and I gained you know another 20 20 30 pounds I don't even count and I love myself throughout the whole process. I love myself being extremely thick. I love myself being thin. So it's never about that. It's always about the fact that regardless of physically the way I look, I just always feel like I'm the most beautiful person on earth. That's the way I see myself. I feel that my body goes through the seasons of the body and the body being a vessel, it's supposed to just serve whatever mission you're on, whatever chapter of your life you're on. So I try to go twice a week and if I can't, then so be it. so that when I had some time alone, I was able to continue on making the design of the bottle. Non, 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 on te voit parfaitement. Ah, là, c'est de la gueule. Ah. Tu as bien une chose que j'apprécie. Ah oui, pour les, euh, pour les jeunes, c'est génial. Donc t'as aussi vos <rire> Je 
Ça j'ai dit tartiflette, mais d'un côté, je suis en stade. Je suis pas assez douce ce soir. J'ai besoin de deux petites minutes. Avec plaisir. S'il plaît. Oh, c'est bon ça. Ouais, c'est bon. Je pense pas qu'il y ait de l'alcool dedans. Mais si, il y a de l'alcool. Il y a de l'alcool mmh. ça, ça devient grave. Je sens même plus quand il y a de l'alcool, moi. <rire> moi, je le sens. Mais, je... Mais c'est doux, en fait. Oui, c'est très doux. C'est doux. Poulet fermier, salade frite, pas mal, ça. Euh... Ouais, c'est pas mal, ça. Linguine. Bon. Bon So after a few days in the mountains, we finally got back in the French Riviera. And this is just how I start my day. I'm just doing my sacred feminine meditation, my sacred morning. So we are back from the mountains and the potion is finally ready to be packaged and shipped to my customer. So this is a custom potion. It is unique to my customer. I customized the formulation so that it fits her energy and the bottle itself is also unique to her. It's one of a kind. No one else is going to get this bottle. Yeah, so about a year and a half, almost two years ago, my Instagram got hacked and deleted. So it wasn't a huge account. It was about a little over 56,000 followers, which I had built from scratch. And basically, I was always using Instagram mostly like a way to communicate with my clients, sending DMs, receiving DMs from customers, randomly posting stories you know of me making the potions packaging shipping communicating with mainly like really in my mind instagram was like calling them or texting them but it worked and i was doing a lot of live channeling i used to do it once sometimes twice a week doing live videos it increased when covid happened and, and actually one day i was just on my phone but actually i had just finished did I finish a live? Yes, I think I just, I had just finished a live on Instagram, just grabbed my phone and I was posting something about the live, a follow-up or whatever information, or maybe just thanking them, you know, saying thank you so much for joining the live and whatever. And then I see a, a window popping on my screen that says someone from whatever country it was, is trying to access is trying to enter your account or whatever way it was formulated it was it was said is it you or not i click no it bounces me to my email having like a, a message saying are you trying to access your account from this country if it is you ignore this message if it's not you click here whatever i go back to my instagram my account is no longer there the whole thing didn't take longer than 30 seconds. It was so traumatic to me. I put my username and my password and it's, you know, that message. This account does not exist. In like this, 
I didn't have an Instagram account anymore. There was a battle, literally a battle, for over three months with Facebook. Couldn't reach really anyone special. I kept repeating myself. My assistant kept repeating himself, saying, oh, how can we help you? And we just described the same situation. How can I get my account back? Didn't happen, I got discouraged. So because I'm active on YouTube, and I was really, really more active on YouTube back then, some people were like, what's going on? We don't see you anymore on Instagram, etc." So I created an Instagram later. It was probably, by the time you're watching this, I don't know when, but it was about a year. A little over a year ago that I just created a, a new Instagram. I created two accounts, one for my potions, just to post photos, and another one, official Miss Pravala. Without really any passion, um, the whole thing really discouraged me. And my business is doing really, really well. It has always done very well without me being actively on social media. And I'm so busy. And sometimes I'm just busy enjoying myself, living life. So I never felt the need to actively go back. But recently I had a conversation with a couple of people. I had a chat with a friend of mine who is in PR, but she's in fashion. So it kind of, uh, kind of opened my eyes a little bit. And then I had another conversation with um, someone who really, really handles creatives, but mostly influencers and social media. And they're telling me that you need to be active again on Instagram now more than ever. It is like your resume. And I always relied on, you know, me being a, a spiritual and just having the sort of, you know, I'm never going to need anything. My clients find me easily. I have no effort to make. They just find me. Uh, my, my customers love and seek for my potions. So, yes, I, you know, I felt like my business was doing great. Creatively, however, it started to feel like I wanted to be more present, especially because I'm, I'm really, really in love with each potion I make. And I'm really in love with every single sacred moaning session. I really look forward to doing my moaning, speaking about the moaning. I love practicing channeling, chanting through the mantras. So I have such an amazing collection of products under my umbrella. All of the tools that my customers are going to love being a feminine and learning to surrender and loving their life in a different, more holistic way. So I was like, I need to really kind of take Instagram and TikTok seriously because I make beautiful potions by hand from scratch. You know, my potions are from, you know, they're 28 days, a moon cycle to prepare, to activate. And I use precious elements, precious stones, precious meteorites, the oud resin, oozes potent energy. It's so beautiful. And the packaging, everything, you'll always see me, you know, having, if you look at my hand, you see, you'll always see me having scratches and burns and things like that because this is truly a holistic process for me. And my potions deserve their own photo shoot. They deserve to be seen. <laughs> so, so yeah, so recently I decided to take content creation more seriously and to integrate it into my business. It's really recent. It's probably a couple of weeks ago. So I've organized a series of photo shoot and in my schedule now, I have set time during the week on social media content creation.
night time so i'm about to go to sleep i had a busy day so i will not have enough energy to do my regular 30 minutes to an hour um, evening ritual i don't skip on this ritual because it would mean that i skip on myself it means that i'm not the priority don't mind the noise it's been raining off and on today instead of doing my regular morning ritual i'm going to focus on my heart if you're new to the type of spirituality that i teach and practice every energy center which you can call chakra has a purpose activate our magnetism we want softness we want effortless so it's gonna be very quick this really takes three minutes i'm going to focus on my heart my heart being the energy center that receives and sends love you can't teach the heart to do that you don't even have to say it i receive love that unless you're misaligned the way you know that your heart is doing amazing is that when you connect to your heart it just feels gorgeous <laughs> for lack of a better word it feels like you trust life like you know everything works out always like it's open there might be some tightness for some people which means that you need to you need to get on your sacred feminine rituals but for me it's just about renewing being magnetic loving the experience of being a woman so i'm closing my eyes and i'm breathing into my heart and breathing out so inhaling and exhaling really effortlessly i'm not making any effort i'm really easing into this process this particular potion that i customize for myself is on the energy of desirability i am highly desired I am highly desirable. Yeah. So the moment I feel that as a truth, I'm going to start softly inhaling. And then when I exhale, I slightly sigh in the beginning. So, so you ease into this feeling. Again, if you're not aligned, this is not going to work. Okay. You need to practice sacred moaning. So it should come like this within a couple of breaths. So I'm going to do it off camera, of course, but I'm just sharing this with you. So I'm going to breathe into it. And then at some point, the moaning is going to feel different. It's going to be really sacred moaning. It's going to come by itself. And the way I know that it's no longer me that is wishing or making it happen is that it's going to come from my womb where our sexual energy is and when i know it's happening from there there's an oozing sort of sweetness that's gonna come in my mouth you know we call it the sweet nectar and when i have that when i have this sweet taste literally like like as though you would you would put honey on your tongue i apply my potion for today here and my heart center and just because I love to smell my potions, I'm going to place them here in my perfume points. And I'm going to go to sleep. No distraction, no TV, whatever. Anything you want to know about how this type of lifestyle can help you feel fulfilled and blissful as a woman, check out my social media, check out my TikTok, check out my Instagram check out my blog i post a new blog once a week every friday manifest lavish imperial divine opulence i love you and i see you in my next video